Hi, this is a story called Snakes by National Geographic Kids, and it's written by Melissa Stewart. Now, snakes are very interesting. We're going to find some information out about snakes. Snakes, ooh, this is a cool picture. Look at, you can see the fangs as its mouth is open. So here's an interesting picture of a snake here. This is the table of contents, and this gives all the chapters that are going to be in this book. And it tells you what page they're on. It's a snake. What is long and round and slides on the ground? What can be fat or thin it, and has dry, scaly skin? What has a tongue that flicks and eyes that can't blink? Blink? For goodness sake, it's a snake. <laughs> a snake is a reptile. Lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are reptiles too. All reptiles have tough scales. A snake has stretchy skin between its scales. A reptile's body is always the same temperature as the air around it. To warm up, a snake lies in the sun. To cool down, a snake moves into the shade. Look at his labels. This is scales and skin. All reptiles have bones inside their bodies. Some snakes have more than a thousand bones. This snake has eaten a whole egg. It will crush the egg and spit out the shell. Snakes all around. Wow, look at all the snakes here. Hibernate. In winter, some animals have trouble finding food. To save energy, their bodies slow down. The animals rest in a safe place. Snakes live in fields and forests. They live in deserts and oceans too. They even live in city parks. Snakes can live almost anywhere. Most snakes live in warm places. They stay active all year long. Some snakes live in cool places. In the winter, they hibernate. Most snakes hibernate alone. Some snakes hibernate in large groups. Here it shows over here, this picture says, each winter thousands of garter snakes hibernate together in southern Canada. Over here, in the spring, the garters slither out of their warm den. Snakes and more snakes. In warm places, mother snakes usually lay eggs. Then they slither away. They do not take care of the eggs. And this is talking about, this is an Indian cobra with her eggs. And there's the eggs. Most snakes lay 20 or 30 eggs. Large pythons may lay up to 100 eggs. After a few weeks, the eggs hatch. The young snakes look just like their parents. Here's a green, um, green mamba hatching. Here's a cobra snake hatching. Here's a Burmese python hatching. In cool places, snakes usually grow inside their mother's body. A mother snake lies in the sun to keep the little snakes warm. Most mother snakes give birth to between 5 and 20 little snakes. A puff adder can give birth to more than 150 snakes at once. Imagine what it would feel like to have all those tiny wigglers inside your body. A snake's body never stops growing. Sometimes its skin gets too tight. Then the snake needs to molt. And here it's shedding its skin. This is a timber rattlesnake. Here's an Egyptian banded cobra. 
The snake rubs its head against a rock. Its skin splits open, then the snake crawls forward. Its skin can peel off in one long piece. It's like taking off a rock, or taking off a sock, I'm sorry. Most snakes molt three or four times a year. Here's a word, molt. When animals molt, they lose their old skin. Fur or feathers, new skin is underneath. See, and you can see how it's shedding its skin right there, or molting its skin. On the move, most animals have legs and feet, but not a snake. Scoots help a snake move forward. Here's the word scoots, the wide scales on the belly of a snake. And here's a label and it shows a scoot. A python crawls forward in a straight line. Its belly muscles push its scutes against the ground. Scutes can't grip desert sand. A side-winding adder has to throw its body sideways to move forward. A garter snake curls its body back and forth. Its scutes push against grass and rocks. And here's our garter snake here. Super snakes, heaviest. Green anaconda. A green anaconda can weigh up to 550 pounds. That's as much as a lion. Wow, you can really see it here. There are about 2,700 different kinds of snakes. Here's a beaked sea snake. This deadly snake lives in shallow areas of the Indian Ocean. It can stay underwater for up to five hours. Most poisonous snake right here. The fastest snake is the black mamba. A black mamba can travel up to 12 miles per hour. That's twice as fast as most people can run. Smallest snake. The Lesser Antillean Thread Snake. The Lesser Antillean Thread Snake was discovered in 2001. Snake Senses. Snakes use their senses to escape from danger. Senses also help snakes hunt for food. Snakes with round pupils hunt during the day. Snakes with long, thin pupils hunt at night. Some snakes smell with their noses, but all snakes smell with their tongues. Their tongues are split at the tip. This helps them, this helps them know if they should go left or right. A snake's ears are deep inside its head. Sound travels through a snake's bones to its ears. Some snakes have heat pits. They can sense the body heat of other animals. Heat pits help snakes hunt at night. Here's a word, pupil, the dark area at the center of the eye. It lets light into the eye. So here it's labeling nostril, heat pit, and pupil. And here's the tongue, of course. Where's the snake? Can you see the snake here? Can you see the snake here? Can you see the snake here? This is a garter snake in water. Most snakes. Alrighty, let's stop it.